Hey guys, it has been such a long time since I've done a sit down video. I have been vlogging for the past few months, so my apologies if these are the type of videos you like. Happy 2022. It is now the second week of January and if you've been an OG subscriber of mine, you know I have been posting New Year's goals every year. So I think I've done it twice now. Don't quote me on that. So I kind of thought about how it went the past few years. Like I set these goals, I made the video so that I am accountable for it, but then after a few months I didn't follow through and keep doing what I was doing to, to, to reach those goals. Like I wanted to think of a new YouTube video idea every day. I think I had three ideas every day and I only did that until like March. I had all these things and, and I didn't do it all. I'm taking it, I'm taking a different approach this year. I am making goals, but I'm, I'm making them smart goals. <laughs> so my friend Dee Dee or Deandra, she runs Driven By, had a webinar last week about 2022 goal setting and vision boards. So I had a collab and I was late to join the webinar. So I didn't actually participate. I just listened. I rewatched it last night and took some notes down so that I can talk to you guys about it. So I have my laptop here if that's why I'm looking at it. The first thing she talked about was core values. Core values is something I've never really thought about in terms of goal setting. The first thing she did was think of 10 and it honestly was kind of hard to think of 10 because I've never really thought about it before. So I was like, what what are my, my values? And after thinking of 10, she said to narrow it down to five. So I don't wanna go through a list of 10, so I'm gonna give you my top five, which are self-love, gratitude, balance, optimism, and happiness. I have been going through a whole mental health journey, which I will talk about soon. I'm planning to make some videos about it. So these are really like what I am trying to work on this year. And then next we talked about 2022. What do we want to do? What do we want to learn? And what do we want to accomplish? Things I want to do might be given. I want to stay active. Any way to move my body is fine. Simple as that. Another thing I want to do in the new year is cook more rather than eat out so often. And I am a food blogger, so it is kind of hard. But with COVID right now and restaurants not being open for dining, it's a little bit easier. Another thing I want to do is post more on social media about mental health. It is scary to, to open up and talk about it, but I want to talk about my experience and what has helped me and, and the reason for me to share is not to get like sympathy or have people feel bad for me. I I want to help people and that's why I have a YouTube channel. Whether it be entertaining someone, making someone smile, making someone laugh, or making them feel like they're not alone if they're going something similar to what I was going through, or having someone to talk to. My DMs are always open and I'm here to talk if you need someone. Yeah, so all I want is to, to be able to help people and if I can reach one person and help them out, then that makes me happy. Um, another thing I want to do is read more. This kind of goes with like staying active. I want to take care of myself more physically and mentally, whether it be working out, moving my body, or meditating, reading, journaling, talking to people. And the last one would be to sleep better. <laughs> Okay, so for things I want to learn in 2022, I want to learn about nutrition and diet. I have been anemic for a long time and I don't eat necessarily the types of food I should be eating for someone that is anemic, especially since I don't like to eat meat much. So I really want to learn more so I can figure out what to eat that would be better for myself. I want to learn video editing. I do have this YouTube channel, but I just know the basics and if I want to learn more, I just kind of YouTube it. So I want to really enhance my skills in video editing and I want to learn about social media. I started a new job as a social media manager, so I just want to learn more about it so I can excel at my job better. Okay, and then things I want to accomplish in 2022. So I said I wanted to read more, so the way I want to read more is read one book a month. I think that is reasonable for me. <laughs> I 
And then similarly to wanting to eat out less, um, I want to cook something new at least twice a month. I'm trying to think of things that would actually be reasonable for me to achieve. So not say like, cook something new every day or whatever, so I'm saying twice a month. And then for social media, the past few years I aimed so high and I thought I would be able to reach that number of followers or subscribers. So this year, we're going to be more realistic. For social media, I want to hit 4.5 thousand followers on YouTube. I'm at around 3.8 right now. so. It's less than a thousand, so I think I can do it. But if I hit 5K, that would be even better. But my goal is 4.5. Um, I do have a new page, which is a fitness and wellness page. I started it almost at the end of October. So I wanna hit a thousand followers on there. I have mentioned I am a food blogger. I've kind of neglected it for the past few months working on my mental health, but I want to reach 5,000 followers. And for my TikToks, I haven't really been posting TikToks consistently, but now that I'm in social media, I'm trying to post more often. So I would like to hit 500 on both of my pages, which is a food page and my fitness page. So this is one thing I never really thought about, like action required to achieve these goals. So I'm really glad Dee Dee talked about this. So I kind of um, put them into categories. So for social media, to reach these amount of followers and to be able to help people I need to post more frequently engage and follow people with similar pages or interests for reading I wanted to read one book a month so in order to do this just read a few times a week simple as that not even it doesn't even have to be every day a few times a week and then I can finish the book so for nutrition and diet listen to podcasts do research um, read more on healthy meals or meals to eat when you don't really eat meat and you're anemic. <laughs> Exercise, so dance, lift, box, yoga, walk, anything where I move my body. Video editing, take a course or watch more YouTube videos. Mental health, move my body, practice gratitude, try and have a better sleep quality, meditate, be more positive. So now that we have gone through all our goal setting, we're going to talk about vision boards. Um, if you don't know what a vision board is, it's basically either like a digital or physical paper sheet, I don't know what you want to call it, of your goals or what you want to happen. So you put everything on there that you want to happen in life and if you kind of constantly are looking at it, it is supposed to happen. Um, but you also have to be doing things to make these happen, not just like looking at it. So if you like, it's kind of like manifesting it. I actually made one last year. My um, therapist got me to make one and a few of them came true. Like I did it in November, so I only had like two months. So on there, I kind of just put a lot about self-love. I put like a mirror so that when I look in the mirror, I am complimenting myself rather than tearing myself apart. I had like a work from home area, which I do now. Stuff about social media. A lot of it actually happens. So Dee Dee gave us a few notes to think about when we are making our vision boards. So she said use photos doing the action and not only the result. Use words or your values as themes and post it somewhere you could see every day. So mine is currently my phone background, but we're gonna make a new one for the new year and I'm gonna show you how to make it, so let's go. Okay, so we are now at my home office desk area. So I pulled up um, Illustrator, which is what I'm gonna use. For my phone background, the size is 1,125 pixels wide by 2,436 pixels high. Yesterday I went on Pinterest and found some photos that went along with what I just came up with. Um, I saved these all ahead of time so that I can quickly make it here and show you guys. So I have them all kind of like laid out. So what I do is I kind of just move things around. Just want to place everything so I can see them. So I'm putting a lot less than I did the last time. I was also trying to find like browns because that's the color palette I'm into. So what I do is just kind of like make a collage. Let's zoom out and kind of just 
put things in certain spots and then you can always move things after. For brief, I definitely want to crop this. So I'm just going to make it small. Like that. So it's all about just like placing it where you want everything to be. There we have it. I'm going to save this and make it my phone background. Um, I could even make like a landscape version and use it for my desktop, but I don't think I'm going to do that. If you want to do it digitally or do it on your computer, print it out or like find like magazines, print them out. You can do whatever you want. It's honestly like totally up to you. I'm always on my phone, so I like to have mine as my phone background so I can see it constantly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Feels weird to say that. I haven't said that in so long. <laughs> um, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Like right now I'm just doing vlogs. I have ideas in my head. Thank you guys for watching and see you next video. Bye.